on the top right you see the picture about the six value chain activities svc which is one of the five elements of the service value system and you see the demand on the left and the value on the right and the product is services created is created based on this six value chain activities one or more of them let's say the step number one is the engage step let's say when we are going to build a new product then uh, we need to engage and find out what are the requirements for that product so this is the engage step now this engage step itself may go through several things the engage step will have an input input could be a query from a input could be a, some kind of a, um, information coming in from a customer who wants to define requirements and eventually the output is it ends up with the definition of the requirements yeah. and therefore each step may lead to several actions for example requirements collection requirements verification requirement sign off and again when we go to requirements collection uh, action within requirement collection there may be several tasks like uh, defining a meeting schedule for gathering requirements defining a template for requirements gathering that's why a step is broken down into actions and actions every action broken down into several tasks again it depends on the amount of granularity we want to have in the value stream if the organization wishes not to go into so much depth they can stop at a step level but if they are they want to make it better they may break it into actions normally it's it's it is quite um, it's very rare that a value stream would not be shown without actions within a step however showing the tasks within the actions is probably more difficult right so some organizations may decide not to go to the task level again these terms may be used in different ways like process steps tasks activities so the organization would have to define what are the meaning of tasks activities steps etc so that there's no confusion uh, between those terms value stream inputs what are the inputs usually it uh, very logical actually and very intuitive demand demand or trigger because of some event that's one thing the second thing could be the information provided along with the demand or information could provide could come from another value stream and that's the most in interesting part one value stream may be connected with another value stream for example if i'm a service provider and i'm handling an incident but there is some connection to the hardware system i'm handling a software incident but eventually i need some hardware support for it i may have to work with a hardware supplier therefore the hardware supplier will have their own value stream which connects with my value stream to resolve, resolve the incident therefore uh, there may be um, interactions between um, or a supplier value stream within a provider's value stream and uh, inputs are also resources um, every value stream every step in a value stream or the value stream itself has resources from various practices it requires people information so for example to create a new service people are required tools are required processes are required practices are required etc therefore the value stream concept itself comes from the resources doesn't it because it uses practices people etc and lastly there may be some funding other consumer resources required um, before the value stream can progress like funding or which location and uh, who is what who is the um, uh, who is the benefiter of this value stream etc 